Okay, we've uh, gotten most of the uh, walls off now and allowed those to dry out and and now we're looking at uh, getting the, the flooring out. Uh, there may be a question in your mind as to whether that's necessary, but as we pull out the floorboards, I'll show you why that's important. You can see here the moisture on the bottom of these floorboards. This is hardwood floor. As we pull those out, see there's a quite, quite a bit of moisture on those and even as you look closely some mold growth as well. And um, if we left this floor without pulling it up, we could have not only potential for mold and rotting on the hardwood floor, but on the subfloor as well. If you look here closely, there's actually a layer of paper. As I peel that back, you can see, and that holds moisture as well. And so that's uh, one of the main reasons here why we need to pull the floor up so we can get to the subfloor, pull the paper off, and allow that to dry. The other thing you'll see here, and you want to be careful as you pull up the flooring, sometimes there's some gaps in the subfloor. In this case, this board isn't even attached, and that could be a potential hazard there. That's a pretty good hole there. And so uh, just be careful that uh, the subflooring is stable and uh, you have solid footing on it as you start taking up the floor. All right. You can see here uh, we've got the uh, hardwood flooring out and uh, the subflooring is exposed. This was done yesterday. Here you can see this area that's dry. This was done just recently, so it doesn't take a long time if you properly ventilate, get fans going, get air moving through to dry out this subfloor. But if you leave it alone, again, it's going to mold, uh, it's going to cause problems and damage your subflooring, uh, which uh, can be a major issue in a, in a, in a house.